I had to sweat it out. You know, I didn't really care whether I had a television show or not. Ward Baking Company came along and wanted a clown show. And he said, have you had any experience with makeup? I said, just on Saturday nights, but they cleaned up that part of time. <laughs> so I, I, I was the only idiot on the staff, and so uh, I was the one that uh, got hung with the gig. If I got the television show, that meant I was cool. It was either that or get a real job. And I was supposed to audition against the guy that had been in the clown business. I don't know if he was a circus clown or not, but came the night of the audition, and uh, this was supposed to be after sign-off. You can't audition children <clears throat> at 11 o'clock at night. This was before the days of tape or even uh, the kinescope were so bad then. And uh, uh, we were supposed to audition this show for the J. Walter Thompson people. They were sitting up in an audition booth upstairs and they were looking down. And we had been rehearsing all week long. I had been talking to chairs, you know, kindergarten chairs. You know, we couldn't get kids in for the, for the audition. So I practiced with kindergarten chairs. I interviewed kindergarten chairs. Do you know how nuts you can get talking to a kindergarten chair? Day after day after day. Hi, Billy, how are you? See, the, that particular kindergarten chair's name was Billy. I was getting punched out by that time and came the night of the audition and they couldn't find the guy I was supposed to audition against. They assigned production teams to both of us. And they looked all over and found out he'd gone back to date. He said television made him nervous. It's whether or not they liked you. They liked me, they really liked me. Turns out Ward Bacon Company bought the show. So we were on once a week. That was my idea of a job, work once a week. Of course, we worked our tails off putting the show together. It's what got me started in clowning. 